9 verse 11 the bible said studio help us there let the sighting of the prisoners come upon to thee oh lord according to the greatness of thy power deliver thou those who are appointed unto death death is an appointment sir and for every appointment is come it can be disappointed am i communicating somebody can decide to have you can decide to have an appointment with somebody and whilst the person is about to come you can change your mind excuse me sir i am not available tonight you will not be available for dead you didn't hear me no member of your family will be available for dead don't be looking it's time to pray sir are you hearing me be sensitive the times we are in is full of wickedness 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 perversion of every kind if you are not sensitive you may just wake up and say hey yeah and i sense it but why didn't you pray the bible said for surely there is an end even an end to death you can choose not to die when it is not when it is not yet your time are you hearing me god's people why am i relating to us in this dimension the year is gradually closing and the spirit of death must close with other people <clears throat> you didn't understand me take what i'm saying casually and you will hear a report outside i'm telling you there are people you began this year with i'm telling you under god there are people you started the journey of 2022 with suddenly you will just wake up and hear that something just happened but can i tell you precious people of god nothing just happened that is why adanakazu we are men of spiritual intelligence where saviors legislators are better to stand and legislate over our lives and our families for some of you the prayer tonight will be a bailout system for your family members don't take it casual are you hearing me and i hope you realize some things that happen to your relative directly affect you <clears throat> so as you are securing yourself realize that you are standing in priesthood to shield even your household tonight how many of us are set to pray tonight my god that spirit of death that spirit of death tonight that spirit of death tonight you are arrested in our midst somebody begin to pray say father in the name of jesus everyone appointed unto death in our midst in our family we put an end to those appointments right here right now lift up your voice and pray my god man takavila kapesh oh my man dakaila pataila make sure you are praying that shall be no dead in my family that speaking of death your appointment is over kapala kapesh no dead in my family this year no dead in my home no dead in my home my life is secured my life is preserved my family is preserved Kalash! and i can so pray tonight i shield myself Oh dead, where is thy sting? Oh dead, where is the hiding place? Tonight, you are banishing our midst. I forbid dead in this house. I forbid dead in my home. I forbid dead in my family. Come and ask. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. It's a 
a miracle service. It's a warfare service tonight. Kapala Katena, Shakapaya. Break yourself out of it. Oh, dead, where is thy stink? Oh, dead, where is the hiding place? Kapash, Ela Kotokove. Manda kabara kadesh, eria katamba rakai, ella swate pana. No one will die in our midst. My family are preserved. Kabara katena manai. Somebody pray, shaka nema. Ay ay ay. Le no koto kove. Kamas da kaina. Ta 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 ta. I forbid the steam of death. The voice of death. The speaking of death. Kaban de kete koko. Shamane ya. Ta ta kapala. Thank you, my dear Father. And to cover the catech, a mark of exemption upon us, a mark of exemption upon our homes, a mark of exemption upon families. A mark of exemption. He said, let no man trouble me. For I bear me the mark. The mark. The mark. He said, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet know how. Shamanakata. Me and my household. We are a sign and a wonder. Kaba Shamina. Father, a mark of exemption come upon you tonight. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible said, The Lord God crowned the year with his goodness, and our path drop fatness we are yet going to pray another prayer before i take us for tonight again you are going to say father this year must end well for me kaya kai you don't understand me some people the year can start normal but towards the end calamities wickedness evil of every kind come and cut short their long labor from the beginning say father in the name of jesus the year 2022 and beyond must end well for me. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Oh. Shakatena mana. My family. Yahweh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh,
Every force is assigned to stop you tonight that followed you here. Can I announce to somebody their end has come tonight? The spirit of death that followed you here, I decree over your life, it is arrested tonight. Everyone that the realm of wickedness and darkness has programmed doom for you. They said you will not end well. Because you came for an akazo tonight, I declare your liberty over your life. Will you lift up your voice? I appreciate the Lord again. Give him all the glory. Thank him. Glorify him. Give him glory and celebrate the Lord with a big, big heart. Somebody shout. Somebody jump. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put your big, big hand and take your seat in God's presence tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome you to church tonight. This is an akazo where the very life and presence of God is here in our midst. Transforming lives, changing destiny, raising men. Tonight is your night of visitations. Also, it's our miracle service and the last service for the month of November. Thank God you are here. Because better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. Tonight, God will do you well. Amen. Quickly, I'd like to communicate. God's servant, my dear brother, apostle, his love to us, his prayer to us, his heart to us. We talked shortly before I came in here. His heart is really with us. And I can tell you the truth that the same blessing that has gone ahead with him will remain with us tonight in the name of Jesus. But please, I'd like for us in our seated position, let's bear him up in prayers right now. One minute. The next one minute, say, Lord, and grace your servant. Empower your servant. While it's time to declare your counsel, while he ministers across, Lord, let your power, your presence, your word of utterance, let it come like never before. 
back up your servant with strength with mighty signs and wonders like never before reveal and glorify yourself through him as he declare your counsel tonight and even the remaining days of the week Thank you, mighty Father. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, quickly, let's go into what we have tonight. I'll be charging us quickly. It's our miracle service. A lot of activities will be involved tonight. Also, it's a communion service. So as much as we can, we walk within the space of time that is allotted to us. I'll be sharing with us on what I title understanding the power of joy understanding the power of joy Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 downward Let's look up, please, as we read together. Let's go. One, two, three, go. Let's go, house. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall there be fruit in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the storm <laughs> verse 18 yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will joy in the God of my salvation verse 19 the Lord is my strength and he will make my hands feet like the hands feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places to the chief singer on my strength instrument understanding the power of joy tonight you'll be blessed tonight somebody shall be transformed tonight questions shall be answered in the heart of man verse 17 Studio, you can put it up there as we join in again. Verse 17 began by giving us a narrative of a very devastated and hopeless condition. It gave us a narrative of a very hopeless case. It painted a picture of devastation, frustration and anything that you want to interpret it as but while you read this scripture this could as well be the life of many people very hopeless very devastating as a matter of fact full of pains full of limitations full of troubles but verse 18 gave us a different interpretation that in the midst of an hopeless situation in the midst of a devastating experience in the midst of pain in the midst of sicknesses in the midst of falling and rising there is hope are you hearing me tonight That here and there life can come upon a man with different shades and seasons where he will be forced to begin to question and ask questions at the same time. Although the fig tree do not blossom, although there is no stall in the vine, the olive tree may fail. He said, Yet, show it me, yet I will rejoice, I will joy in the God of my salvation 
Can I tell you, precious people of God, as we journey through life, one of the powerful virtue that must never be found missing in your life is called joy. Say with me, joy. Say with me, joy. Pay attention and listen. Because while I share, deliverance will be taking place by the word already for some people. Joy is a requirement. Is an essential factor as to join into your lifetime. When you lack joy, because I will reveal to us that joy can be missing in the life of a man. That too many people try to explain happiness. Let me even help us up front that there is a clear difference between happiness and joy. Are you hearing me, God's people? When we talk about happiness, happiness has to do with the outward happiness around a man. Example, I give you a car, you will be happy. Are you hearing me? You get an admission, you will be happy. Just like our beloved sister shared, you could see the joy of the testimony that scholarship was awarded to her sister, or is it a brother, to Germany. She was happy, she was excited. Are you following me, God's people? So when things happen outwardly, you are bound to be excited. You are bound. It will even call for celebration. But the subject matter of joy is beyond the physical and the outward happening in your life. That regardless when there is no money in your account, no money in your pocket, car didn't come. For some of you, the marriage that you have been waiting for it has not yet arrived. But can I tell you, precious people of God, in the midst of that season, you can yet be joyful. You know why people are frustrated easily in life? Their joy is lost. That I will be showing and revealing to us even sickness, disease, once it comes upon a man, once a man is under the influence of sickness and diseases, among many things that is lost automatically is his joy. Have you seen a sick person joyful before? <laughs> but in Zion is a place that you will understand by intelligence that joy is based on personal revelation. Follow me carefully. Joy is based on personal revelation. So joy has nothing to do with what is happening around your life outwardly. Are you following me? The situations of life may be happening around your space. Your space. Challenges. Problems. Issues that will require you to break down. May be happening. Hopeless conditions like I read to us in Habakkuk 17. But verse 18 came with a game changer by helping us realize that in the midst of joy, things can change. That in the midst of joy, circumstances, situations, sicknesses and diseases, oppressions of the wicked can change. You know why this world is coming at such a time as this? The year is gradually closing. And for some of you, you have been bothered and troubled. I have heard so many prophetic words. In fact, it has been our year of dominion. But what is happening around my space? Because it looks as though nothing has yet happened. Can I tell you, precious people of God, be joyful tonight. The year is wrapping up. And it looks as though things will not change. It looks as though the oppression had continued up of until time. A beloved lady called me yesterday weeping, crying. She says, I'm tired. I've reached my elastic limit. I'm tired. She was challenging me as though I was God. That you people have taught us so many things. So what is happening now on this case? I'm tired. That may as well be the situation of somebody listening to me tonight. It looks as though the sickness will not go. It looks as though you will not get married. It looks as though the job will not come. And then frustration set in in the process of time. But say with me, I, I have joy. 
Say with me, I have joy. The Bible said, yet, hmm, verse 17 gave us a, a, a hopeless condition, a terrible case, a devastating condition. But when verse 18 introduced yet, I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And then we saw the outcome in verse 19. He shall make my feet like the hinds feet. In other words, things will begin to change because of verse 18. I am joyful. Are you following me, God's people? Tonight I came to challenge somebody that is at the point of giving up and saying things are hopeless. Tonight joy is coming again. That every time joy arrives, the narrative will always change. Joy is a game changer. Can I tell you, God's people, under the same grace in this house, no sickness that follow you here will return today. No infirmity, no affliction that follow you here will go back with you the same way. Say with me, I have joy. Say with me, I have joy. The power of joy. Because when you don't understand this spiritual virtue, you will journey through life in frustration. This one that I speak of, it is not respect of title. It is not respect of persons. You can be a pastor. You can carry any of the fivefold ministerial gift, calling, offices. And when you don't operate in this understanding and revelation called joy, at a season of your life, you'll be frustrated, sir. Many people, in all honesty, are frustrated. You just pay attention to the problems of people. By privilege, we get to cancel people week in, week out, day in, day out. When you hear conditions, when you hear situations, sometimes it will require the revelation that you have to raise the people that are falling already. And part of the revelation is understanding the place of joy. Joy. Say with me, I have joy. My God. Joy is a powerful spiritual virtue. It's a force that can lift a man that is falling. It's a force that can raise a man that is at the verge of giving up. Joy, joy, joy. Can I tell you, God's people, if the devil have not succeeded in stealing your joy, I can tell you, precious people of God, you can always sustain a victory in your journey of life. Joy. Joy is a powerful virtue. While I was studying on this subject, I began to look closely into my life. I prayed into it. Do you know pressure people? Whoever you are, it can lack in your life. You will not know what is lacking until you are confronted with situations of time. Some of you, you think you are strong, but let situation face you. You will know whether you have stamina to bear certain things. That is why I don't laugh at people who are going through seasons. Are you hearing me? Because our capacity, our build-up, our stamina is not the same. And stamina, capacity, is a function of revelation. It's not bold face. You can read it, but if you don't cut, if you don't catch the light of what it tells about, I can tell you, you will suffer the consequences as an ignorant man. Haven't you read in your scripture, my own people are destroyed for the very lack of knowledge. Say with me, I have joy tonight. Say with me, nothing will steal my joy. Say with me, nothing can take my joy. I tell you, live the remaining days of your life understanding that joy is a powerful spiritual virtue. It's one of the, it's one of the mysteries in this kingdom. Joy, joy. Has nothing to do with the physical happenings around your life. So some people can celebrate when a car come, but they will commit suicide when they steal the car. <laughs> you don't understand me. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You know why? They have not built a stamina to realize that the love of a man does not consist of the things which he, have, which he has physically. You know why? Joy is a spiritual virtue. It is internal.
Do you know what joy does to a man? As a matter of fact, precious people of God, the joining of joy reveals the greatest secret of faith and endurance. I will show you from scriptures. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That even faith that we claim we have, that we declare of, can be sponsored in the arena of joy. James chapter 1 verse 2. Count it all joy. Take me to you. Help me out. When you go through temptations, when you go through trials, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worked what? Patience. But the Bible said what? Count it what? Joy. The first stage in your journey in faith and endurance has to do with the place of working in the revelation called joy. When you lack joy, you will not know you don't have faith. Joy and faith works together. Joy and endurance works together. Are you following me, sir? The Bible said, count it all joy. And that is the same time that many people will go through the same temptation and begin to question, is God alive? Are you seeing the difference now? That joy in you will keep you going and floating regardless of the ocean that is drowning. The same water that is swallowing all that is consuming all that. A man of joy will be floating, sir. Are you hearing me, God's people? That in the midst of flood, the same water that drowns men, a man of joy will float. Joy will always separate men in the journey of life. That in the midst of sickness, you can still sustain the intelligence. In the midst of challenge, you can still sustain the revelation and be joyful. While you just heard a negative report, people are wailing and crying. Of course, your humanity will react, but there is an inner confidence that will make you know that, ah, nevertheless, God lived forever. Joy. Joy. Joy is a powerful spiritual virtue. I pray for somebody tonight under the sound of my voice. May that spirit rub upon you tonight. It's a spirit and it's a grace. It will be activated in our heart and in our midst tonight. Joy. Joy. Let me take it further tonight. Do you know joy does not... People are so important in life. People are very important in life. Men and women are important in life. You can never downplay the place of men. But can I tell you, precious people of God, men are not reliable. If you place your joy in men, you will be grossly disappointed. Hmm. I have seen many people disappointed because of men. Hey. Are you hearing me? You know why? Men vacillate. Men are not consistent. It is in the system of man to be a man. Only God is constant. God does not change. Every man will fail you. You call him your best friend. You wait and see what happens. So if your joy is dependent of your best friend, the day he turns his back away from you, what happens to you? Never build your joy around any man. Never forget this. Never build your joy around any man. As powerful, as important, as gracious men can be to you, men will limit will be limited at some point. Don't be angry. It's the frailty of men. No man can play the place of God in your life, not even your father. <laughs> Are you hearing me? For some of you that you have you want to kill yourself because of your boyfriend, you are not even married. You are so restless, he didn't pick your call. You can see, it's just called, he didn't pick. You want to end your life. How much more when you join into through life and we, may God give you understanding. 
I learned early that not even my wife will be the source of my joy. Are you hearing me? Not even my wife. My goodness, I love my wife. No two ways about that. But she's not the source of my joy. My joy is from Zion. My God, my joy is from God. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Men betray men. Sisters betray sisters. Husband and wife are betraying each other. But when you have God, you will never be betrayed. Are you following me, God's people? This is an intelligence you must sustain as you join in through life, or else you will be always frustrated by your fellow man. Some of you, they just talk about you in your corner, behind you, gossip. <laughs> we have seen things so. That somebody you sat down together, oh boy, how far is my brother? Is my covenant brother? The next moment you turn back, that person kill you. What if you heard that? What happens to your confidence? That is why trust with men is not consistent only with God. But when you have joy with God, you can join in through life knowing that men are men at their best. Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed tonight? Say with me, I have joy. Some of you are not married. You will grow up to get married and understand what I'm saying. Some people have what they call moose swing. <laughs> are you hearing me? Some ladies are master in that. And I've met men that they said they have moose swing. I almost slapped the guy. <laughs> you know, I've met a lady that said, when my period comes, I just change all manner of yeah, yeah, short things. I just say, madam, calm down. Reality will soon dawn on you. Another one said, that's why I feel every time I wake up in the morning, I don't feel like to talk. So when you marry, what happens to your spouse? You will understand some things. Are you following me? So when the guy said he has a moose swing, I said, what kind of moose swing? Which one be your own? <laughs> May God deliver every brother from moose swing here. Yeah. Some of you are victims. Very emotional people. You see them so helplessly emotional. The sister didn't pick his call. And he saw her in an akazo. He called, he, he had called her before he came in here. And he saw her speaking in talk, Shaka Takaba. And he had called her before coming here this Friday. I'm talking to somebody, you know yourself. She's speaking in tongues. And I called her, she didn't pick. <laughs> Say with me, I have joy. You see, that sister will not be the source of your joy. Oh, my brother, wake up. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Never be deceived. Joy comes from the Lord. And it is internal. It's a revelation that you woke up. Joy. Tonight, the spirit of joy is flowing in our midst. As I'm sharing, the spirit of spirit it will cut up with you by the spirit just watch out and see the spirit of joy that you will not wake up in the morning and be looking sad carrying a long face and allowing people to pity you have you not seen people like that they wake up and looking pity they want everybody to become like them are you not seeing that i'm not happy what is my problem with you know you're not being happy i mean are you hearing me you wake up sad you are not happy and you want everybody to be angry are you not seeing I'm not happy say with me I have joy number two never allow things to be the source of your joy things things don't tie yourself to things never cars houses what have you clothes shoes anything name them brazilian hair we born for our beloved sister a sister i met a sister that didn't wear wig so she didn't come to church are you hearing me god's people <laughs> are you ready for tonight 
Are you ready for tonight? But say with me, I have joy. That when you attach yourself to things, those things are not reliable. Only God is reliable. Nothing in its own can give you joy. Only God gives me joy. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Get a job. You think you got a job. Some of you are saying, Oh God, did they let me just marry? Let my joy be complete. Are you joking? Pastor Honey will tell you. <laughs> you know, Pastor Sean, Pastor Honey shared testimony of last Shiloh while he was sharing here. We're all he was praying. Oh God, I need to marry. I could imagine when they call out for miracle marriage, they look and look and he went forward. So he's married now. Sir, is the marriage the source of your joy? Please help me out. No, sir. I'm being practical. <laughs> but once upon a time, he stood here as though that is the ultimate thing that can happen in his life. Some of you, that is your obsession. Let me just write car in this life. <laughs> car. You will enter the car and be sweating inside AC. <laughs> so you will know that nothing in this own can give you joy, sir. Say with me, joy is the, in the Holy Ghost. Joy is the Holy Ghost. Say with me, joy is in the Holy Ghost. Joy is the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me? So when you come to a place like this, your joy begins to emerge. Because it's in the Holy Ghost. This joy is God that gives and no man can take. A man can give you happiness and take it back. I heard of a girl. <laughs> the guy gave her motor car. She was driving everywhere in town as the latest lady. The day she didn't pick his car, she annoyed him. He said, my friend, return that kiss. That is how we saw the same sister. At that time, when she's driving, she will make sure she drives slow and wind down and just wave the people in the angwa. She's intimidating people. She was no longer trekking. But the moment the guy collected, you know, negative news goes viral. They see her. They don't collect the car. We don't come back together. Are you following me, God's people? That is why I said it is God that gives you joy and he can't return it back. But man can give you happiness and collect it back. I have joy in the Holy Ghost. This joy no man can take. No man give any to me. It is born by the Spirit. Joy. 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 Are you declaring? Say with me, I have joy. You see, this subject matter will haunt you for the remaining days of your life. Joy. Whoever you are, while you rise in your journey, you will realize that you will need it to sustain in your journey of life. Joy. Joy. Joy is not a nego. You can never negotiate joy or trade joy for anything, sir. Never. 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 One of the same, one of the things that happen to sick people, people that want to die, that don't have revelation, while the spirit of sickness or infirmity comes upon them, you will see them sad. Hmm. Let me not be faster than my shadow. I will show you something from scripture. Are you hearing me, God's people? Are you hearing me? Joy is powerful. I will never trade my joy for nothing never i have found it that joy can keep me running joy can keep me going regardless the condition although the fig tree will not blossom although there is no stall in the vine the olive tree may fail he said yet say with me yet say with me yet say with me yet i will rejoice in the lord i will joy in the god of my salvation That is why the Bible will even say, weeping may endure but for a night. You see, every time joy comes, joy comes with a new season. Mm -mm. Joy comes, every time joy comes, it's a new season. It doesn't leave you the same way. 
That is why for somebody, you are returning with a new season. You came in here with the spirit of heaviness, with the spirit of burden. But after the spirit of joy comes upon you tonight, there shall be a new season into your life. Joy. Joy. You are not permitted to return the way you came, sir. Never. Not in this presence. Joy. Are you hearing me, God's people? Joy is powerful. Can I take it off on? Joy is one of the secrets of survival and success in life. With joy, you can survive anything, sir. Ah, oh, yeah. Are you hearing me, God's people? With joy, you can survive any season. With joy. You can draw waters out of the wells of salvation with joy. With joy. My brother, don't trade your joy for nothing. You can survive the season where it looks as though it is full of gloominess. That season of our time, it will come. But when you have joy, you will find strength. Ha! Huh. Let me just go ahead. What are associated with joy? I'll give us one, two, three points because of our time. What are the some of some of the things that are associated with joy? Number one, strength. Say with me, strength. Say with me, strength. Nehemiah chapter eight, verse ten. The Bible told us there: the joy of the Lord is my strength. Kai. That in the midst of certain season, in the midst of your weakness, in the midst of your downtime, you can also the economy of joy and engage and become strong. Joy is strength. Joy is strength. When men are casted down, when men are returning back, the Bible said if you turn away in the days of battle, what is the diagnosis? It is because your strength is what? Your strength is what? Your strength is what? So what is joy? Joy is strength. So if you have strength, in the days of battle, you will stand. You will stand. Haven't done all, the Bible says stand. Haven't done all, the Bible says stand. When others are falling, stand. When the vicissitude of life comes, stand. When challenges come, stand. My sister, don't give up. Joy is your strength. There is more to your life than the happenings from January up until now. Tonight's strength is coming upon you. Some of you are the virtue of losing hope. Some of you are the back of packing your back and say this thing is a scam. It's not working. But I can tell you, precious people of God, joy is stamina. Joy is strength. Joy is an ability to stand against other external factors. Joy. Joy. With joy, you can come out of any season. I can tell you, sense of God. With joy. So when people are mocking you, when will you marry? Just be joyful. For it does not yet appear what you are becoming. But unknown to you, every time you come here, there is something happening. Can I tell you, God's people, never be deceived, week in, week out, for those that are focused. Because I'm aware, not everybody is focused. It's normal. Anytime the saints are gathered, we are not gathered with the same mind. Don't be deceived. We are not all seated here with the same mind. We are not all seated here with the same expectation. That is why our changes is not at the same level. We can never rise at the same frequency. The same word coming, but we are changing at different dimensions. Joy. Say with me, I have joy tonight. Say with me, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Say with me, no more weakness for me. Say with me, I will no longer fall apart. Joy is strength. Joy is strength. Joy is strength. Joy is strength. 
you can now source this powerful spiritual virtue and will off any season of breaking and rising up. Many people, like I said, have come to the elastic limit, but with joy, you can stand strong. What is in joy again? God's presence. God's presence. Psalms told us, Thou, O oh God, will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. And at thy right hands are pleasures evermore. God's presence. God's presence. And you will agree with me. Everyone that carries the presence of God, automatically it will reflect in joy. Every career of God's presence, one of the attributes of such a man, one of the attributes of, of, of such a woman, is joy unspeakable, full of glory. The presence of God. The presence of God. That when you carry joy, among many things, the presence of God is inhibited in you. You can't carry the presence of God and accommodate darkness at the same time. Never. The presence of God forbid darkness of any form of any kind. And joy is one of the balance system in your journey of God that will help you carry the presence of God. A tangible presence of God. While I read about Smith Wigglesworth, it was said of him, although a man of faith, one of the things he wakes up every morning, when he wakes up, he will begin to dance for one hour. To sing. What is he doing? The presence of God, creating an atmosphere of joy. And that is why he was such a powerful man of faith. I told us that it's a direct relationship between joy and faith. He was an apostle of faith. But joy was one of the ingredients that people didn't see but he expressed it in the book that he wrote i read it he said every morning once he wakes up in the morning he will dance he will celebrate the joy of the lord shall be in the tabernacle of the saints he will wake up with a tequila shout with the songs of melody and joy is welling up and for as he does that faith is better and he goes out and devour any devourable. Say with me, I have joy. Can I tell you, precious people of God, one of the reasons why you are living in fear, you don't have joy yet. Carry joy anywhere you go. Wake up joyful. Don't wake up sad. I don't wake up no matter the side of bed and I begin to wonder how the day will be. Are you joking? I have an understanding already. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Can you see that? Ah. So when you wake up without rejoicing, you have lost the day before engaging. This is the day the Lord has made. God is the maker of any day. The next thing that must follow, I will begin to rejoice before I see the performance of what I want to see during the day. Joy. Wake up excited although there is no money in your account wake up and give god praise although there is no food wake up and celebrate although you don't know where the christmas money will come from are you joking you serve the one that the earth is the lord and his fullness thereof wake up and give him praise be joyful be celebrating can i tell you precious people of god the supply of god is not tied to you it's tied to him don't wonder how it will happen just engage in a joyful sound. Joy. Say with me, I have joy. Say with me, I have joy. Never wake up and be sad. You have defeated already. One thing I have told myself, I will never sleep angry, I will never wake up angry. <laughs> it is dangerous. Some people go to sleep, they don't wake up. <laughs> Imagine you go to sleep angry. Do you know what kills some people? Anger. The spirit masqueraded. It came and sponsored and attracted dead. They are angry. I will show you. I will kill you. I have all manner of things. They go. They don't know the spirit. They, they say, I will show you. So that spirit came in the night. <laughs> and then show her. <laughs> are you hearing me? 
go to go to the bed joyful and wake up joyful it's a secret for successful living if your wife offend you scold her and tell her honey i don't like what you did but let's pray if your husband offended you honey i didn't like it ah now the way you talk to me but it is over let's pray don't go to sleep angry and you just face north she face south you say i'm angry are you hearing me god's people are you hearing me god's people some people, their girlfriend didn't pick, so they went to bed angry. Some of you know yourself, see them. Very young people, but full of emotions. Emotions everywhere. Aye. Very emotional beings. Today you'll be a joyful being. Are you hearing me, sir? So you will replace that emotion with joy tonight. Are you hearing me? When she didn't pick, be joyful. Are you hearing me, sir? Say with me, I'm full of joy. Say with me, I'm full of joy. Say with me, I choose to be joyful. Ah, I didn't tell you, joy is a choice, sir. It's a choice. I can choose to be joyful, regardless what happened. I choose to be joyful. I can finish this message, go back, and I receive a call. My humanity may want to wonder, oh God, what happened? Here and there. But it's a revelation that I have, that any, anything I allow out of my space, that we die and still... Can I tell you, if the devil steals your joy, everything will damage around your life. Kai, Kai, Kai. This one, I can prove it. If the devil succeeds in stealing your joy, every other thing will damage around your life, sir. Everything. You will begin to see things fall apart line upon line and you will begin to wonder where did i miss it tonight joy is coming afresh yeah. what is in joy joy has a medicinal value that as joy comes it can comes to take away sicknesses and diseases proverbs 17 22 the bible said a merry heart do it good like a medicine but a broken spirit kai kai grind the bones can you see that leave that scripture a merry heart the word merry there another translation put it perfectly a joyful heart a heart that is full of joy is like a medicine in other words it has medicinal value that in the midst of that sickness you are keep you you keep declaring the counsel of god and joy the year is ending but it's not ending the way it is this month is ending but it's not ending the way it started and you are joyful and you are celebrating can I let you know, precious people of God, I realized early in life, there is no small sickness, there is no big sickness. Every sickness is a process of death. Never forget this. Are you hearing me? So you must sustain the intelligence and the understanding to wed off anything that will come and lay claim of your precious soul. Oh, I am full of joy. Say it with me, I'm full of joy. Say with me, my joy cannot be stolen. Say with me, it cannot be taken. Say, I'm full of joy. A merry heart do it good like a medicine, but a broken spirit, it dries the bone. While I was studying, I went to a part of medicine and I realized that there's a direct relationship with depression being despair that will bring you into a, a, a gloomy state that will begin to shut down your organs even in medicine for our medical people in the house you can attest to what i'm saying are you hearing me that is why the doctor in his wisdom physically as part of the therapy he gives he will try to create an atmosphere 
where you will be excited, where you will have your loved one come to see you, is doing something to your subconscious mind. It's a recovery process. Are you following me, precious saint? Are you following me, God's people? So it's one of the avenues, even in the realm of the spirit, that in the midst of joy, you can come out of sickness and diseases. You can, sir. You can choose to keep your mouth shut or you can choose to be joyful and appreciate God. It was God's servant, Bishop Oedipo, that said, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. So when you shut your mouth, your life will shut up. Are you hearing me? But say with me, I have joy. Say with me, I have joy. Full of joy. Full of joy. Full of joy. Our time is fast spent. But in a moment from now, I'd like you to know that this spirit is from God. This spirit is accessible to anyone that is willing to accept him. Anytime you seek to violate and stay away from God, can I tell you, the world system can never give you joy. I can assure you. Go and take alcohol, look up. Are you hearing me? You know, many people in the beat to forget their sorrows, to be joyful, they take alcohol. Are you aware of that? That is why I don't judge people. We were discussing in Abuja, myself and Apostle, two weeks ago on some key things. And we we're talking about this same thing called alcohol. We we're just, he was asking some questions and we we're talking about scriptures together. My opinions on what happened with this, what is this thing called alcoholism? And we we're just sharing. Some people, the reason why they started taking alcohol, eh? It's because of depression. They want to forget their, their sorrows. I hope you know it's scriptural. Are you hearing me? But they take it in such a way that it is abusive. And they try to take to forget their sorrows. But can I tell the precious people of God, no matter the amount of lucre you take, it's temporal and momentary. Reality will dawn on you after the detoxication is over. And people go and take weed. Eh? They will take weed and come out and begin to heal you and they are happy everywhere. It's, it's a false joy. They will be greet you, chairman. <laughs> are you hearing me? The guy has just finished taking something. Everybody is chairman. He will heal you, chairman. He will heal you, chairman. Everybody is chairman. It's not his fault. He's an influence, but he's happy about that. Can you see that? But how about having the joy of the Holy Ghost and you honor men in genuity? Are you following me, God's people? That it is not under an external influence. This one is based and born out of revelation. I have joy. Say with me, I have joy. Say with me, I have joy. Some of you are bearing that name. That name will make meaning to your life today. Some people are laughing already. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You will collide with that spirit tonight. And it will change your altar facet. Everything about your life will be altered. The spirit of joy. I can never trade this spirit for anything, sir. As I join in within the time allotted to me in Zion. In, in my journey in life. Never. Joy? No. It's a bailout system. Tonight the spirit is coming upon you. The spirit of joy is coming upon you. So it doesn't matter how the year has started. For some of us, prophecy has been hanging upon our heads. Week in, week out. Prophetic declaration. Words have gone ahead. But it looks as though it has not materialized. Brother, get up and be joyful about those prophecies. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? The year is not over yet. Between now and December, anything is still possible. Are you hearing me? Your case is not over. Your case is not over. The sickness is not over. Tonight is an end to every sickness in our midst. As we are crossing December, 
you are living here totally free from every encumbrances from every pain every shackles every oppressions and every limitations the joy of God is coming upon you somebody rise on your feet tonight begin to declare I have joy begin to declare I have joy I have joy of the Holy Ghost I have joy I have joy of the Holy Ghost I have joy of the Holy Ghost and remember it's our communion service the communion will be coming our way soon we must take it in joy we must discern the body we must discern the communion we must discern the body that the communion is one of the powerful mysteries that can alter our face hallelujah hallelujah quickly before we take some function you are here you have not given your life to Christ yet there are many things we'll be doing time is running against us this joy that I speak you can never understand it until you are born again before you take the communion tonight you must accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior outside hear me until you are born again joy may be far from you you want to say yes to Jesus you want to return you have struggled where you are there is no hope outside of God there is no peace outside of God you have been falling and rising but tonight you have heard the voice of God return to your maker permit me to pray for you and lead you to Christ somebody you want to give your life to Christ you want the joy of God to come into your heart the alcohol may never be the source of joy drugs can never replace joy walk forward here quickly you want to say yes to Jesus outside inside come forward quickly come and receive Jesus come and rededicate your heart my brother come forward my sister come my brother come don't stay back come 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 they are coming outside come everywhere come Jesus loves you tonight Jesus loves you tonight Jesus loves you tonight Jesus loves you tonight Come and receive Jesus. He is the source of joy. No joy outside of Jesus. No joy, no joy, no joy. Outside of Jesus, no joy. There is joy in heaven. Over one soul. That is joy. That is joy. That is joy. There is joy for you tonight. They are coming, they are coming. Everywhere, they are coming. Father, thank you for this one. Thank you for the harvest of souls. Thank you for the harvest of souls. I choose to be joyful. In Jesus' mighty precious name. My dear ones, put your hand on your chest. Repeat this prayer with sincerity after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus. Say it louder, dear Lord Jesus. Today I have heard your word. I believe you die on the cross for my sin. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Wipe away my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. 
Today I'm born again. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for the spirit of joy that is coming upon me today. In Jesus' mighty precious name. Father, thank you for the salvation of these ones. The same grace that has brought them, we keep them. We preserve them. In Jesus' mighty name. Celebrate the Lord. Quick, 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 quick. Our officials, quick, quick, take note of them. Ushers, direct them. Please follow them quickly. They will take down some of your contacts. Every one of you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In a moment, the communion, the communion will be coming our way. But don't come and participate and take it casually as a mere ritual. You must discern the mystery and what backs up the communion. While you are standing, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, say it louder, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the mystery of this communion, every sickness, every oppression, every disease, every limitation, whatever follow me here, as I partake of this communion, they die tonight. Their end has come. Their end has come. Oh, I end up praying. Shaka taka bala kata. Why end up praying? Why end up praying tonight? By the communion tonight. Shaka taka ta. Make sure you are praying. By the mystery of this communion. Manda kadela. Shaba da da da. Everywhere pray. Don't be looking. Make sure you are praying. It's your time. It's your moment. And I got to pray. Every sickness. The signature of evil. Every oppression. The mystery of the communion. I am free. I am free. I am free. Shaka da kabalaka. Make sure you are praying while you are coming to take the communion. Declare, I am free. I am free. I am free.